Um, now, in order to find out whether this is a max or a min, a local max or min, we need to use um, a, a test. And the equation for that test, I'll go ahead and write it here. Um, and this is kind of fancy, but it's actually, what it means is really simple. Equals So all this means is um, we need to uh, we need to find these three things here. This is the second order partial derivative with respect to x, the second order partial derivative with respect to y, and the mixed um, second order partial derivative. So we need to find these three things, plug them into this equation, and then um, find out whether this whole number here is positive or negative. So let's go ahead and do that. We need the um, the second order partial derivative. So if you remember when we took, we, the first thing we would have to do is take the, the first order partial derivatives, which we already did. Um, we got 2x and we got, here with respect to y, we got 2y. So now we need to take um, second order partial derivatives of both of these. So um, squared f and x squared, and this is just notation for second order partial derivatives. So here, this means we're going to take the partial derivative of this here, 2x, with respect to x again, um, the derivative of which would be 2. And then here, the second order partial derivative with respect to y means that we're going to take the partial derivative of this um, 2y here with respect to y again. So that would also be 2. And then um, the last thing we need is the mixed partial derivative, which means, um, which looks like this, squared f. And you can either, remember to get here, we took the partial derivative with respect to x. So to find this one, we could take the partial derivative with respect to y of this 2x, um, or we initially took the partial derivative with respect to y here. We could take the partial derivative with respect to x of this. So it's either, you know, you use x here and then you, you take um, with respect to y, or y and then with respect to x. They should be, the, they should come out to be the same thing either way. So you can do it um, either way. Let's go ahead and use this one. Um, so the partial derivative with respect to y of 2x um, is actually zero because when we're taking it with respect to y, we hold x constant, which means x is you know a number. We can we can substitute in a number like two or three. If we plugged in two for x because it's a constant, we get four here, and of course the derivative of four or any constant is just zero. So this is actually zero. So now um, we have our three uh, second order partial derivatives. And what we want to do is apply this derivative test, right? So um, first we need uh, the, let's go ahead and say equals, um, the second order partial derivative with respect to x here, which we got was 2. Here it's the second order partial derivative with respect to y, which we found out here was 2. And then we have minus um, the second order uh, mixed derivative, which is zero, and then you know the formula tells us that we have to square that. Um, not that it's going to matter because it's zero, but that means we have two times two is four minus zero. So um, that means that d um, of x y lambda is four, and four of course is greater than zero, which is really what matters here. So um, we have, let me just go ahead and put this up here um, in place of this equation here. This equals 4, which is greater than 0. Um, so we found uh, d of xy lambda, and that is one half of our 
um, our test for whether this point here is a max or a min. So, um, and I always forget these, you'll have to either memorize them or put them in your calculator, but um, if this d of x, y, lambda is greater than zero, um, then you still have a possibility that this is either um, a local max or a local min. The second thing we have to do to determine um, which one it is, is plug in our point uh, here to the, um, the second, um, second order partial derivative with respect to x. I don't know why it's not y or why it's not mixed, um, but you always plug it in to this one, um, second order partial derivative with respect to x. Um, of course, if we try to plug in this point here, there's, there's no variable to plug into. Um, you know, there's no, there's no x here or y in this equation, so it's, um, so, you know, the answer is just going to be 2, which, of course, is greater than 0 as well. So these now are the two things that matter to us. The fact that um, this d of x, y, lambda is greater than 0, and the fact that um, at the point 100, 300, the second order partial derivative with respect to x is also greater than 0. When they are both greater than 0, then f of x, y has a local min. So, um, we will say that 100, 300 um, is a local minimum. Um, if this had been less than zero, you have this greater than zero and this less than zero, then it would have been a local maximum. Um, and if this had been less than zero, we call it like an indeterminate value or a saddle point. I think it's um, where you can't be sure just from that uh, test alone. But when, um, when this is greater than zero and this is greater than zero, um, the point that you found before is a local minimum. Thanks, guys. See you next time.